and welcome to my channel. I'll be um, sharing with you some purchases I've made from Amazon and these are art um, related um, purchases. So um, I, you know, uh, with like a lot of people during this pandemic have decided to pick up um, some art supplies and was more into trying out things that I haven't tried before. So one of them is watercolors. So I had an unboxing of some different kind of watercolors uh, before, but this time around it's Daniel Smith watercolor supplies through Amazon that I, I bought because it was on sale in different areas. I still have more coming. Um, I ordered through Michael's. Uh, they were having a 20% off sale. And Michael's happened to be a lot more, actually cheaper when it came to individual tubes that they're um, giving. So I also ordered through uh, a, over a company called Art Toolkit. Let's see what it is here. I, I ordered a, something called a pocket. <coughs> Excuse me, allergies. Oh. Excuse me. Um, I ordered something called a pocket palette, and these were quite. Um, it was a bit costly, but I, I wanted to give it a go. So it's a called a company called Art Tool Kit, and I uh, decided to order the pocket palette with fourteen standard pans and a demi palette and pack of ten mini pans. So what am I talking about? So it came in a box. It's wrapped in tissue paper, and I ordered myself a pocket palette, and these are little pans uh, I could fill it with. Um, and there's a little thank you, uh, from them. Uh, what is this? Okay, there's a little, oh, it's made with love in the Pacific Northwest. What? Hope you enjoy our using our tools as much as we enjoy making them. We would love to see how you create and get your feedback. Made with love in the Pacific Northwest. Which is interesting because I believe that the... Art Toolkit Online. Let me see, just making sure. Huh, interesting. So anyways, um, so that's that. So the Art Toolkit pa Pocket Palette. When you open it, it actually looked to me like a, um, it looked like a, and later on I ordered this, I was like, gosh, I could have probably bought like a card holder from a dollar store or something. And it has a little, Toolkit.com emblem here. It looks like a card holder. Oh my gosh. Yep, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. So I, my hunch was right. Oh my goodness. These are pretty expensive then. Uh, pocket palette, fill your palette too, but two paints and allowed to dry overnight and use them to clean, remove plants and wash. So this is quite interesting. Uh, online, I was like, you know what? That actually looks like one of those like card holders, that you, generic card holders I could get for like really cheap. And then inside here has these pans. Oh, and it's magnet in the inside. So I could totally make this. Oh my goodness. Um, so this, I mean, I thought I thought it was pretty cool, but I, I my hunch was I could probably make this and it's true. Now, um, so let me see how much are these? This alone, for example, this here was $32, <laughs> but I mean, I, I, I don't know, maybe there is a difference, but I actually have like this, uh, wow. Okay, maybe I'll one day share. But inside, if you look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, so 14, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm gonna fill these, and then inside is a ma magnet so that your um, pans don't fly everywhere. And I bought myself some extra, little mini pans in case I wanted to change these out for more colors. So that, this is a pocket palette. And here is a Demi palette. Ta -da, art tools. Ta -da, it's tiny, tiny, look at that. Now, after I bought this, I was like, you know, I probably could make my own with Altoids or something, like a little, a metal tin, but I'm glad to like support a company. Um, fill pans with two paints and dry overnight before use. So you're supposed to like squeeze in paint and let it dry for 24 hours, and then you could always reactivate them. But this is the same. It's like these pans, and there's a magnet underneath. Okay. So yep, these. You see that? How it could come out? Okay, interesting. 
Yeah, if you have one of those metal uh, things like these, I know you could buy them from a dollar store. You could totally make your own pans. Oh my goodness. But this is so cute. It's so tiny. Okay. So yeah, I got this from the art tool kit. Um, so I got these pans as well. Now I look at it. I'm like, man, I could have probably made my own. But now I know. Um, so I'm sharing these with you. I think it's pretty cool if you have the money to buy it. Yes, I say you do it. But after looking at it, I'm like, man, I could have probably made my own with, uh, cause I have these, I got, um, these from like a pink one and then it looks exactly the same and you just, I just need to put a magnet inside and let them stick. But yep, yeah, like maybe glue, glue one side and then the magnet, but yeah. Okay. Good to know. Probably you don't, um, but yes, so that's one. So with this aside, I got here, um, some half pans with the magnet so you just stick it one side sticky so you would just stick it in but Dan so daniel smith they have a five milliliter size and a 15 millimeter size so here's the two differences in size and if you go online this is just like a few dollars more than this one so if you think about it if you know the colors that you want for extra four dollars more you get more than double the size because uh, this five and this 15 so it's, it's three times the size of this little one so if you're in a situation where you're not sure if you like to color it makes sense to get the small five milliliter one but if you if you want to be on uh you know uh more economical then it makes sense to get the 15 milliliter one because the difference in price is only by four dollars or so um so that's that but here's some watercolor from daniel smith that i've ordered and I got the colors of inspiration, extra fine watercolors. And there's a bonus free empty half pans as well. So let me go ahead and unbox this with you. The colors in here, uh, focus, are um, KDM yellow, medium hue, aquinacrone rose, wisteria, rose of ultramarine, moon glow, shadow violet, pathlo blue, lavender, cascade green, serpentine genuine, green appetite genuine, and Quinacrone gold. Hmm. I wonder. So, this is also made in Seattle. So, these are all Pacific Northwest brands, it seems like, that I got. Ta da! This is the tin. As a little thing that you could put your thumb into so that if you're out and about, you could just uh, carry this palette and it makes it easy. Oh, that one's funny looking. So it appears they hand poured it. Just, do you see that? That one, they seem to over pour it a little bit. So I know that these are poured and they dry it. Some of them, they're not all the same, but I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind the extra over pour. And so there's here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then there's 12 extra down here that I could fill, which I will fill um, with the, uh, let me see, make sure it's not rusted, which I will fill with these because there's uh, uh, 10 in here. So it'll, it'll be 10. And I just need to, some of these might be already in here. Well, no, they're not. Let me see. Yeah, so I'll just have to um, choose which one I want to put in here. I was told, hmm, technically, I guess I could, well, no. Oh, this came out. That's good to know it falls out. Uh-oh. So here's a watercolor. Let me make sure it goes back in there. Do you see this? I gotta go back in there. So, hmm. I thought I was hoping maybe the spacing will allow me to put like some of these in between here, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, I can, I guess, take this tin out, and then I could. Let me see. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. 
Yeah, I could put more in here like this, but it'll be uneven. It's not. I wish there's a way to push these out a bit. So these are <laughs> all screwed in this way. Great. Now I need to know which colors are which because they're out of order. So this is what you don't want to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, I'll figure it out. But yeah, that's it, folks. I wanted to share with you some of the uh, interesting. Where does this go? I'll touch figure it out. But yeah, that's my unboxing with you. That's all, folks. You have a wonderful day. Bye bye.